Hello Pisces, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be your monthly reading for May. Keep in mind, timing and energy is still fluid. Uh, this could resonate at any point in time throughout the month of May. This message may or may not be for you. This is going to be for any major Pisces placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. If this message does not resonate, check your other signs and placements. Also keep in mind, these can be energies in and around you. So swap around the energies, but don't cram yourself into a message that's not meant for you. Pisces, we're going to start off by using the self-care deck. It's got some really nice inspirational messages, some affirmations. Um, what else do we got in here? Some reflection messages. So we're going to start off uh, with this deck and then we're going to pull in with the tarot. I'm keeping these messages short and sweet this month. And so... Have you been criticizing yourself? Maybe for years. Um, the opposite of Pisces is Virgo, which can be very self-critical. Let me just say, self, uh, self-criticism will never, ever work in your favor. Uh, you are maybe on the pathway of approving of yourself. So let's see what happens this month, right? So you are perfect just the way you are, Pisces. And uh, maybe you're going through an awakening, is what it feels like, what some call rebellion, others call survival. Have you been operating out of survival uh, survival mode? I think it's time to recognize the beauty in uh, the ordinary things in your life, Pisces. To break free from maybe some survival patterns, rebellion energy. I think of Aquarius, so you might have Aquarius in your chart. So, all right, Pisces. Remember always that you not only have the right to be an individual, but you also have an obligation to be who you truly are. So how can you set some new goals? That is an affirmation. Set some new goals. I do feel uh, maybe you've been looking for love. Maybe you've been looking for love. To find the love that you seek, you first have to find the love within yourself. We can't go looking for outside validation. We have to learn to rest in the place within ourselves. And that is our true home first and foremost. And so uh, maybe you need to reach out to a friend or maybe somebody is going to be reaching out to you seeking some advice. But I feel you want to keep your heart open and your mind open to what this person has to say to you because you're learning to be faithful to what exists within you. And so I feel a return, a return is what it feels like. So what I also want to say, it's time to relax. You don't have to do it all. Um, and the time to relax is when you don't have time for it, <laughs> right? So maybe you've been overworking. I, I do feel it's time to take a step back and uh, to relax. You might want to get out the journal to journal about your thoughts. Maybe just spend some time sitting outside uh, to quiet the mind. I do feel avoid some social media at this time, Pisces, is what I want to say, because you're capable of, of anything. And so if you've recently gone through some challenging uh, times and ending, maybe a major ending, what I want to say is almost everything will work again if you unplug it for a few minutes. And that does include you. So how can you uh, take some time, shut everything off for a little bit and reflect on the energy levels in and around you? How do you actually feel? Where can you uh, prioritize yourself a little bit more? Because our greatest tool on the spiritual journey is self-love and self-awareness. And so once we truly know who we are, uh, that is when we realize that love is the only option. Love is the only truth. And so what part of you don't you love? Focus on that and elevate into a higher state. So let's see what else needs to come through. I know with these Pluto energies and the Scorpio eclipse, a lot of us are feeling disempowered in order to bring something into our awareness that needs to be transformed. So let's see what needs to come through with the tarot. Oh my gosh. This doesn't feel good. I do feel there's going to be a major ending that's going to bring a lot of sadness that will heal with time. Something needs to be released from the past. And I do think this hurts. And you know what? Pain is our greatest teacher for personal growth. Challenges and pain are our greatest teachers. There might need to be um, something from the past that needs healing when it comes to a misunderstanding. This could be going back three to six years ago. Uh, something tells me there was not uh, equal giving and receiving here. There was a lack of reciprocity. Maybe 
Uh, maybe you've put a lot of good out there and you're waiting for, you know, that unexpected good to come back to you. Uh, I do feel this is about paying off some karmic debt. Maybe you've been, you know, helping the less fortunate as part of your healing journey. And now it's time to receive that unexpected abundance or inflow of money for the good you've put out there. I do feel a Pisces that, you know, has been healing from heartbreak and has been there for those in need, which maybe is going to bring something back that needs some resolution. I do feel something coming back. Somebody is obligated to come back and clear something up with you. So let's see what this disempowerment is all about. Pisces. Oh, I'll take that one. Oh, some truth. Okay, so I do feel there was a lack of truth when it comes to a, a union of some sort. So there's some truth and a recognition. I want to say soul recognition. There's something resurging, a resurgence of a past connection. Two people divinely guided to be together. Forgiveness is what's going to be needed to end these challenges. There's definitely an exchange here. I do feel, you know, there's been a lack of truth, a lack of um, communication. If you see, you know, the sword's kind of in the ground. I also feel like this crowning energy. And so um, an activation of some truth. Uh, I do feel a situation here that does require some refinement and there's going to be some challenges and some obstacles to overcome, but I do feel um, everything is going to be crystal clear. There's some communication coming uh, when it comes to a union of some sort and look at that on the bottom of the deck, the lovers. And so there, there's a revelation here about maybe somebody that did not make a choice from the heart. Maybe they uh, chose a toxic relationship. And there was maybe fear about embracing true love and a deep, intimate connection with another. But I do feel recovering from a poor decision. The lovers, that's Gemini energy. So there's going to be an unexpected choice in love. And this is about truth and honesty and coming out of uh, maybe a prolonged period of um, guilt, shame, regret, and remorse. Uh, forgiveness. Somebody needs to forgive themselves. So what is this awareness coming forward? Well, we get the page of wands reversed, the nine of cups, the awakening reversed, the knight of pentacles reversed, and the king of cups. So we got a king of cups here, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be dealing with the Pisces or Virgo in their chart. Somebody's having an emotional breakdown when it comes to a realization that they chose not to invest in something that was divinely guided for them for which fulfillment and so this disempowerment is truth the truth is coming in to disempower somebody in order to, to, to wake them up to shake them up the page of wands is you know choosing not to invest in a new creative opportunity an exciting new opportunity uh, that would have fueled your passions that would have allowed you to creatively soar there was a lack of finishing something that was started here with the awakening or the hanged man in reverse. That's a wake up call. Somebody chose to stay stuck. Somebody chose to ignore the insights and to self reflect. And I do feel a wake up call to see a situation in a whole new light because this was destined to be wish fulfillment. And so with this, with the nine and the two, Somebody might have had a lot of options and maybe they chose, you know, to play the field a little bit here and they didn't want to actually invest in anything to create a solid foundation. Maybe somebody here was a little untrustworthy in the past, dishonorable. They lacked devotion. Uh, they, they were not trustworthy. They were not loyal. They were not dedicated. They were not protective because they were emotionally apprehensive. I, I do feel... Um, Somebody's been hiding their, their emotions. I do feel a higher heart activation here. And I feel the perfect time is now. There's a guardian angel here. There is a guardian angel uh, watching over this king of cups as he goes through, I feel, an emotional breakdown. Reflecting on what was lost before taking action, before carefully taking action. So let's see what this transformation entails for you, Pisces. Oh, geez, the four of cups. We're transforming uh, these stuck, stagnant situations. And so, yeah, somebody here definitely failed to recognize a magical opportunity. They missed the point. <laughs> I'm hearing that song, Peaches. I just want to shake your peaches. Who sings that? <laughs> I can't remember. Um, 
but I feel somebody really got distracted here. They missed the point. They missed a magical opportunity. And now they're very discontent. They're bored and they're lost. Somebody here is lost, getting a major wake-up call. Somebody here has been in the dark night of the soul. So we're transforming out of these stuck, stagnant situations, transforming out of an unwise choice. Yeah, very unwise choice to not invest here. I do feel somebody maybe thought another direction was going to make them happier and they made this choice out of avoidance and lacking integrity because there was some questionable motives here and I do feel there's an opportunity to renew something. So I feel somebody could have been struggling in the dark night of the soul maybe for the last four years. Uh, failed to recognize this missed opportunity. Look at there's that temperance angel saying, woohoo, behind you. You got to go back to something that you left behind if you want to release this, right? Somebody chose maybe the single life, the party life, and they wanted to, you know, just go out and have a good time. And now all they can think about is that missed opportunity that they left behind. And so there's going to be like an epiphany when it comes to this magical opportunity and an opportunity for a renewal. And so somebody here is going through an awakening. And they're looking back at the past. They're trying to uh, forgive themselves. They know it's time to head in this direction. And, and I do feel this transformation is going to bring clarity when it comes to your purpose. Because it, somebody here in their heart of heart knows that it's time to take action. It's time to shed the old to bring in the new. And maybe there was a fear of giving up independence. Or, or maybe somebody had to clear out some codependency issues as well. Uh, but I just feel, yeah, somebody, you know, snuck away. Uh, there's some type of, uh, embarrassing secret coming out here because there was a lack of honesty. Maybe there's a huge loss of material wealth, but I also feel this energy of, of coming in with a confession to heal a situation, to come in with a confession in order for a union. And so we've got a masculine here finding their passion to take action is what it feels like. Um, and so there is peace and prosperity coming to you, peace and contentment in your personal life, but somebody's going to have to find their inspiring motivation to take action, to take a leadership role. So this is a connection where I feel the two of you will be stepping into the spotlight, maybe public speaking together. I feel there's a masculine that's been oversensitive to criticism and uh, they're getting ready to communicate to maybe a high priestess to you that they want a, a, a new beginning here. Yeah, because this is long overdue. And so there's going to be an amazing opportunity. But for now, I think you're being asked to go inward to discover uh, your true soul's desire, Pisces. Might not quite be the time for action, uh, but I do feel like it's like back and forth, back and forth. Do I take action? Do I don't take action? Because now is the time to take action, I feel, because this has been, uh, this has been uh, long overdue is kind of what it feels like. So... Let's take a look at what this King of Cups has to say. What does this King of Cups have to say? Oh, there was an ending here. Six of Cups reversed. The world reversed. Four of Cups. Yeah, I feel somebody is, is realizing that their unwise choice has led to a lot of challenges. A lack of victory. A lack of success. And I feel breaking away from whatever... Uh, third party situation prevented them from taking action. There was a lack of strength here. Somebody I feel was all up in their head, all up in their ego. They wanted to assert themselves maybe in an unhealthy manner. And now a realization of, of an ending that, you know, needs to come back around the world reverses. Hey, it's not over. You might've thought it was over, but it's not over. And so this could be somebody all the way back to childhood. This could be a past life connection. This could be somebody you've already known this life or a past life. But I do feel the resurgence of somebody from the past, the return of somebody from the past. And this is a connection that I feel will allow you to heal your inner child. And maybe that's why this person ran. So I do feel um, healing. The four of swords indicates healing. Um, and there is something coming back around uh, that needs to reach completion. Could be with one of the fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, or Aquarius. Uh, but we got a lot of a lot of emotions here. And so healing from some childhood patterns as well. So there is going to be an awakening, a final judgment call made in an unexpected choice in love, an unexpected resurgence of somebody from the past. We get the two with the six of cups in reverse. Well, and that's that four of cups. This could be a connection that was left behind maybe 
you know, six years ago, 10 years ago, could be 12 years ago, uh, two years ago. Uh, but I do feel this is coming back around because the lesson needs to be learned. This needs to be recognized. This is a part of your um, spiritual enlightenment journey. And I do feel this needs to come back around in order for some karmic freedom. And that's kind of what I got for you, Pisces. Wow. I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal or a soulmate reading with me, check out the description box below. And I do look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you, Pisces.